Hello kids today we will be learning a very interesting topic of english grammar that is has have and had we'll be learning about these and we'll be learning about their usage that where we use them now has and have show belonging or possession they show that something belongs to someone had shows something belong to someone has and have are used in present tense now present tense is a time when we are talking about the present time had is used in past tense that is the time which has gone let's come to has first has is used with singular noun or pronoun singular means when we are talking about one Let's have a look to some examples. Singular noun is when we are talking about one person, when we are talking about one place, when we are talking about one animal or bird, and when we are talking about one thing. Man, park, bird, flower. These all are the examples of singular nouns. That is one. Next we come to singular pronouns. singular pronouns is when we are talking about the pronouns singular pronouns that is which replace one sing one noun he she it these are singular pronouns here we have few examples let's have a look example of person you can see a boy in the picture his name is dhairya Dhairya has a toy car. He has a red car. Dhairya is a singular noun and he is a singular pronoun. Next we come to example of place. You can see a big city in the picture. Mumbai has many huge buildings. Next we come to example of animal. You can see a cat in the picture. cat is a pet animal a cat has four legs it has a long tail cat is a singular noun and it is a singular pronoun that's why we have used here has next we have few mix examples you can see a girl in the picture she has a book the book has many pages Next is a boy he is holding a flag in his hand he has a flag it has stripes on it he and it are singular pronouns that's why we have used here has next we come to have have is used with plural noun or pronoun that is more than one when we are talking about more than one person when we are talking about more than one place more than one animal or bird or more than one thing these all are plural pronoun nouns next we come to plural pronouns we you and they these are the plural pronouns here we have few examples Do you have a balloon? They have many books. Children, we use have with you also. We consider you as a plural pronoun. They again a plural pronoun. That's why we have used here have. We have a big farmhouse. We use I and you with have. Next we have few more examples I have a cat You can see a girl in the picture you have a cute puppy Here we have few more examples Cities have many houses cities we are talking about more than one That's why we use have here you can see a boy in the picture The boy has many sand shells.
Next, you can see there are birds in the picture. The birds have beautiful feathers. Next, we can see a parrot in the picture. The parrot has a red beak. Next, we come to the other examples. Has and have. Let's recall about the pronouns. We use has with he, she, it. We use have with I, we, you and they. Now let's come to had. Had is used in past tense, the time which has gone. Had is used with both plural nouns and pronouns. With both singular nouns and pronouns. But in past tense. Leela had a pink dress last year. Last year is something which is telling us about the past. That's why we have used here had. Because we use had in past tense. I had five red roses. This was all about the chapter. Thank you.